Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? <laughs> this, this is the deep girl, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, so welcome back, everybody. This is hey. uh, What's the Remedy Podcast. It's your boy, Dr. J. B-Mo. Ashley Ray. All right. Man, we back. It's been a couple weeks. Oh, man, I'm tired, bro. Like, it's all right. Next week, gonna be, next week going to be good, though. Yeah, like, we're going to go we, back on schedule. If, like, <laughs> <laughs> if we lose, if we lose, I'm back on schedule next week. So, uh, we'll be back to regular, regular schedule programming. But, yeah, so football has been rough. So, how's everything <laughs> been going for y'all? It's right? okay. Yeah, it's going. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Let's take a break. Well, that's good. I mean, we, we've had a lot of a lot of shit uh, transpire in like what has it been like three weeks, two or three weeks, probably two weeks. Yeah. yeah. So, so what have y'all been up to? What have y'all been doing? Yeah, we want to start. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. We could yeah, just go start all the way back. You know what? We can go all the way back to homecoming because that's probably the the, the first thing that we started off. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so, yeah. sick, so y'all can talk about y'all homecoming. Yeah, PV PV is the place to be. Oh yeah. You know, so we had a PV homecoming on October 27th. Yeah, and it was really, really nice. I always like homecoming. It's like it's like a big ass family reunion with a whole lot of alcohol, and mm. it's just wonderful. And if you even if you didn't go to PV, because like a lot of people, like even uh, people that I know have been riding with us, they've been going to PV homecoming for so long that like they get treated like family. Like, hey, hey, I ain't seen you since last year. That's you know true. What I'm saying? It's yeah. great. I've been going there for a long time. Yeah, you're going to have fun, you're going to drink, you're going to eat. You know what I'm saying? Have a good time. Yeah. And you're going to get your steps in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you're going to walk. Oh, yeah. You're going to walk. I'm going to walk. And eat yeah. some more. You're going you to come back home smelling like barbecue and weed. And ah, fresh <laughs> <laughs> You're going to smell like barbecue and weed and be drunk. And that's just a good time all in itself. That yeah. sounds good. Did PV win? No, they lost. Oh. oh shit! I was gonna say I never know because I always have yeah. to ask. Yeah, because did y'all go to the game? Yeah, because I ain't go to the game. I just walked around and stuff. Like I said, we like, if we was on our grown man this year. I'm saying we had the RV and stuff. And, yeah, I, I think I want to. Well, seeing as how I just looked up this year and uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was <a> game. <laughs> I, I had to fix my drink. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just trying that to crown. <laughs> yeah. My drink was tasty. It's, it's fine, but uh, so anyway, um, shit was I talking about? You're talking about you somebody's gonna do? Oh yeah, no, I was gonna do an RV like for next year, and I was gonna get like you know put in on the RV, probably stay out there and all that kind of stuff. But then I realized I just looked up this year, so if I'm doing football again next year, it's a very good chance that we got games and shit on the weekend of mm-hmm. homecoming. Mm-hmm. So this year we just happened to have a bye on the same I, week of home. Oh, that was good. So I, I want to plan for next year and have like an RV and all that good stuff, but I won't know until like April what the football schedule is going to be for you know next October year. of next year. Well, that's, you got time, like I said, I bought the RV in uh, July. Okay. Well, yeah. So mm-hmm. once I, if I see the football schedule and we have another bye week, I might be going in on me an RV or something. Yeah. Like I say, it ain't that much. The only issue is like I still forget to go to work, so I'd have to like leave PV, go yeah, all the way to work, and come you're back. An adult. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it sucks being an adult. Yeah. yeah. I want to be in college again. That's what I want to be. I don't know about that. You don't know about being in college? Yeah. I mean, it's I'm good. I would take some stuff more serious, but I would enjoy Probably the kicking. So. I would enjoy the kicking it even more though. That's what I'm saying. I would enjoy the kicking it more because I know that it eventually comes to an end. Yeah. And then the other thing is, I I definitely probably change my major. And so yeah, I would too. Yeah, I would do things a little differently. But I'll be a rapper. PV was placed. Yeah, you should have mm-hmm. been PV. You should have been a rapper. Yeah. Shit, you'd have made it. You could have been in uh, what was that one that had the girl? Two eleven. Two eleven. Two eleven. Kind of me and City Girls group right now. This ain't what you want. Yeah. That's all jam too. Yeah, this ain't what you want. You said jam. This ain't what you want. There's a song called This Ain't What You Want by 211. They were from FPV. Yeah. And there was a girl in the group. She was light skinned too. Light skinned? Yeah, light skinned like you. But <laughs> with, with, with skittle hair. Yeah, with skittle hair. Oh, with I like that. Hair. Yeah. You gonna do cover for hair next? Yeah. No. You got your little blonde bob going. I know. Hair. I got something new for y'all coming. <laughs> oh, she's like, let me she go in the bag right quick. She's gonna mix it up. You know, I still Actually, gotta work. I wouldn't be coming in here with all the uh, colorful hair. You got red. Cause that nigga be thinking he' about to leave me, talking about he want to go out there and find somebody new. Don't worry, I'll switch it up. That <laughs> <laughs> shit, you got all the hairstyle. Yeah. But now, nah, but PV homecoming was cool though. 
Yeah, yeah PB Homecoming was cool. What else y'all did? Shit, after that. I guess the next big event was Blanc. Yeah, dinner and Blanc. Yeah. How do you say that in French? Anybody know some French? No, nah, I know you don't know no French. I can tell by your face. <laughs> <laughs> don't do me like Le Blanc. Le Blanc. Her, her, her face was so blank. Le Blanc. Le Blanc. Le Blanc. What else? Le dinner in Blanc. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. I paid so, my money. <laughs> you did, and you ain't go. Yeah, nah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> we, had, we had a big open space because actually it was open. Yeah, we had an open space. So we just like 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 in memory. Was she mad? Yeah. It went open space. Yeah, I was about to say open space. I had to break a table. Hell no. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> like fuck yeah. yeah. Put our tables closer together. Yeah. Right, basically. Who now? Who now? It looked very, y'all looked very nice. I was like, oh, they look all grown and stuff. I'm not here to third ward. You know? Man, I was in an untailored suit. I was very oh, cool. Steve Harvey. Yeah. Steve Harvey. It was really big. It looked yeah. nice. Though. It was all right. You got the right angle of the picture. Oh, that's how you do it. Got <laughs> the pants rolled up. Yeah, they rolled the pants up. And that was actually. Well, no, they were healed. That weather was, was just... actually perfect because if it's cold, like, I wouldn't be able to do that shit right oh, now. Oh, man, it was cold like that. All the stuff yeah. I had to wear, I was like, oh, hell no. Yeah, no. And, and the thing is, it wasn't as formal as I thought it was going to be. So I know for, like, next year, I probably won't go, like, full on suit. You know what well, I'm saying? Well, I asked people to go, you know. One nigga told me that's not his thing. He'll yeah. take me somewhere else. Mm. Don't call me no more. And the other um, one, he couldn't come because he don't live here. But he was trying. Try. Shout out to Tennessee. Thank you. The other one, hmm. Anyway. And then, you know, my cousin, we just said, fuck it. Yeah. I seen your stuff. You were still alive. Yeah. Was. I ain't drinking no more because of that. that spot. You went to the spot? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I ain't drinking no more. We went somewhere else, too. I ain't drinking no more. Where else you go? I don't remember. We oh, went somewhere in third. I mean, by that time, yeah. I was riding. Like you was drunk. I, somebody else said that, y'all. Yeah, yeah, you was drunk. Yeah, you was on it. Yeah, I was trying to get my life back. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, at dinner and lunch, we were kind of lit. Um, it was it was actually a good look for anybody that's interested in it because I know a lot of people after the picture started getting posted. Yeah, so was like, oh mm-hmm. man, I should have went. Yeah, yeah, how much? How much is it? How you find out about that? What is y'all doing? Yeah, it's, it's so, so you trying to act all cool, nigga? I said, I said, hey, you know, you, know, you, gotta, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta be in the group. You gotta know, know who you gotta know. Yeah, you know for real. Saying? You know what I'm saying? You gotta get an invite, you know. It what was, what I think, what a ratchet. What was the ratchet? The ratchet was up? What you mean, the ratchet? Any ratchet stuff. It was awkward. I mean, like the DJ played nothing but ratchet music. I mean, did they play back that thing up yes, for the yes, night? Oh, shit, I would have told the tables down. Yeah, yeah they, had, they had a whole little uh, Houston mix, uh, oh, Louisiana yeah. mix. Oh, yeah, they had all that. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, a little little Zydeco here and there. Yeah, that's Zydeco? Yeah. A little second line out there. It was a DJ. I knew they had a second line, yeah. Yeah, yeah. some DJ, I, I forgot who his was name. The, yeah, who was but the DJ? But he was from Dallas, I think he said. Yeah. I said he was from Dallas. But he was, he was good. So I mean, it was a good mix of music. Had like, like I said, at one point we swag surfing. We did. Did you? They did a whole Greek roll call thing, and oh, that's nice. Yeah, so it was like a regular party. Did you feel like it was overwhelming? Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I know that I'll be better prepared next time. I feel like it was overwhelming. It seems like a lot, and I, I'll tell you. And that's this, why I said I'm not going. A lot of the older people were struggling, and it, it was that's what a I'm lot saying, of it like, because like they had to um. They brought like big tables, and it was hard for them to dolly everything down and trying to hold it down with like bungee cords and everything because you have to walk to where you, to the destination. What kind of big? T- okay, yeah. Like they had the regular big card tables, yeah, like not the ones that fold up. Like they had the big full size. That's why I was about to bring my see. Mm-mm. But if you have like a wagon or something, then mm-hmm. you'd be it'd be better off. So you like, put that wagon underneath the table. We didn't even have to put nothing on the table. No, because they, they nobody put it under the table. So, so they, they lied. Pretty much. Yeah. And they lied about how what they weren't gonna allow in. Cause I seen plenty of people in cream and off white. Yeah. My shit was soft ivory. Well, one of my, soft that's ivory. what I said. I was like, fuck. But shit, you've been finding your soft ivory. Yeah. But it was, it was still a cute. It's still a cute little outfit. There's plenty of people like, in some oh. cream out there. It wasn't. It's not white paper white. Like I had two outfits that were really white, and then that one was like you could tell it was a different type of. No, I, I, I seen somebody like damn near yellow. Yeah. It was, Are it you was, serious? Yeah, it was hell. <laughs> it was. Dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I might have gravy out there. 
They ain't say nothing. I figured like, okay, they made it seem very much cool. No. Nah. And then once it got dark, you couldn't really tell the difference. That's what I said. It's gonna be dark, bitch. You can't see this South Ivory. When you first get there and the sun is out. Oh, you yeah, you can see it. <laughs> but don't worry about what's going down. And you really can't tell how not white something is until you start putting it next to some real but white. Yeah. Because I did that. Like, like, oh, this ain't yeah. white. This is South Ivory. That's how you can tell what the, was off. That's what it said. Unexpressed label. But like I said, that was that part was cool. Like I said, it, they do stress you out with the everything that you. That's on my side. But it's not you, you. You understand a lot of this for legal purposes and everything else. Yeah. And, so you want you want everybody to kind of adhere to it, so everybody does look alike. But you know you won't have the, the random folks so that gonna do it. I could have snuck in my uh you my flask. Man, you could have had a whole bottle in that. Yeah. Place. I could have brought somebody I mean, else, huh? I'm yeah, really and that's why I was mad when you said you could just rob hoods. Like yeah, I was like, fuck, because yeah. they made it seem like you couldn't bring nobody. They else. told me I ain't had yeah. that person on the name, and I was like, never mind, fuck, you doing too much now. Yeah, no, and they didn't check nothing. Like when uh, when we came there to get the card, the card had my name on it. And that's it. it. Didn't even have my day's name on it. It was just like that's all they had to say was like, just make sure you get your shit and your date. Let's go. All you had to do is make sure you had your table and shit, your table cloth. All right, maybe next year. Maybe. I mean, because they really didn't check nothing. They didn't check no stuff you had. Nothing. Like, you just had to make sure your shit looked nice. Mm. Yeah. And I'll tell you what's decent. I, I, I was trying again. I'm going to go even harder next year. Yeah, it, make you want, it, make you want, it, it makes you want to do more. more? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe next time, I think. <laughs> but anyway. Trap Gala. I missed that. <laughs> Yeah, no, trap I'm, game. I like anything trap, so I was like, oh, I know that I missed yeah, this so shit. The next, the next big event was yeah, trap game, which was this past Friday. Yeah, yeah I seen you looking like an old pimp. I was like, like this nigga looking like, like Waka Flocka look, Gucci. Look, look, look like uh, what's that nigga? Amigos. Gucci man? Oh, the Amigo? Yeah, yeah, all them. Yeah. I was like, he blinging? You know, I had to. Where you get that coat from? Me, found me a little blazer with the well, gold, gold spits yeah. all Where over. Where you find that shit from? Okay. I need to look back and look at you. I look back at that picture. Did you have them ankle pants on? No, I did not. I'm so tired of y'all niggas wearing it. This nigga had that on yesterday. Okay. <laughs> the ankle pants? The yeah, ankle pants. I don't like wearing my ankles out like that. Yeah. You know what? Speaking of though, so I ordered some pants. <laughs> And so, like, I knew that they were like chinos. And what I was, like, are chinos? Oh, they were on sale. Like chinos, they're like kind of like khaki. Yeah, they're, they're, they're like not jeans, but they you know, they color, they can be colorful or whatever, or whatever. Anyway, so I, I was kind of like, like Paco's back in the day. Was Paco? You want to Paco? Paco, Paco, Paco jeans? Jesus, you know, like, Paco, know. like the baggy Paco jeans? No, no, Paco's making them up. Jinko. Jinko, yeah, no, not them, not like that either. They, they're like they're regular spitting jeans, basically. But yeah, whatever. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah, they basically like seeing it, okay. but I didn't realize what they were. For one thing, because like I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> yeah, some women pants on. Yeah, that's how they seem like. But anyway, so the the worst part of them wasn't that they were like you know tight fitting. The the part was that they came up to like my fucking calf. And I was like, why the fuck would you that's buy some seen, capri? Yeah, I seen niggas with that on yesterday. Some, that's on pedal pushers. Yeah, I was like, damn, I got pants like that for work. Yeah, they they leave your ankles out. They yeah. try to leave your ankles out. I'm like, I'm good on leaving my ankles out, man. Maybe like, have some tight ass pants. I'm like, oh, this is what these niggas doing. I'm taking some knickerbockers on. Yeah, hey. <laughs> knickerbockers. <laughs> Put some stockings on with it or something. But yeah, no, I had my ankles out. And I'm like, no, I don't. I mean, I could deal with the pants. Like the pants were a little tight. I could probably lose a little weight and be good with them, but my ankles were out. And I'm like, nigga, I'm oh. having my ankles out. What's wrong with your ankles out? This is style. I see now. I mean, I know it's a style. It's just not. It's not a style for me. Thank I you. Think. I don't really like that shit. I mean, I mean, some people can put it off. I'm not. I'm not that flashy, so I don't want. The, yeah. I mean, I'm. Like if I, really, I just want my ankles out, sir. Not yours too. So like that jacket I had on for um, the trap game was like that was one of the outfits where you would have like some ankle pants. Yeah. Like, it's like some velvet shoes. Yeah. But I right. can't do that. Why well, yes you can? I don't. I don't do my ankles out, man. I don't. Make sure they ain't ashy. Yeah. My thumb. That's extra lotion I got to put on. Yeah, for much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to lotion my ankles if they ain't out. I gotta lotion my ankles up to make sure I don't even. You was you. you was dancing in trap game. I was drunk, so I was like. So you were oh, okay. Yeah, I was just making sure. Sh- I mean, he was dancing. I, mean, so I was drunk. So it was an open bar. So yeah. it was an open bar. It was a cash bar. Okay. It was like with, um, basically like yeah, it was basically a cash bar. But I, I had pregame. Before I got there, and like they wasn't really checking you. So when I came in, I still had my coffee cup from the hotel. 
So I had I probably hit my car and come out when I logged in. Oh. Like, they just, you know, they gave, I still got the wristband. They gave me a little wristband, rubber band. And, That's what's up. Yeah, so it was, it was a good look, though. Everybody was dressed real nice. Said, they had, yeah. like, booths set up. They actually had food set up, too, but I ain't eating nothing food. Mm -hmm. They had, like, a little bit of food set up outside. Had cash bars in different corners of the room. They had a uh, a whole little second line band come in. And they had, it was nice. It was a really good event, man. Missing shit. That's all right. There's more shit coming up. I mean, we're going to talk about it a little bit. Uh, like, brunches is coming up again next weekend. Oh, wow. Um, there's, a, there's events all over the place. And we're going, now that we're going to be back in the loop, hopefully, you know, I mean, I don't want to wish, wish ill on my team, but oh. if we don't make it through this next year, <laughs> oh, yeah. then we're back, we back to regular schedule program. Yeah. yeah. And we'll be able to keep you up to date. But anywho, we're going to move right along to the main segment for today. Oh, yeah. What's that? Goddamn, man. No. Yeah, to check yourself. Shit, it's and, been a minute. And mostly, yeah, it's been a minute. Yeah, it's been and, a like, and mostly, like we talked about, we wanted to discuss whatever, like the power of excuses. Mm -hmm. That's a bit. Yeah, because you, you feel like so many people use excuses in their everyday life to try to convey certain sentiments about different subjects, different things they involve with. And. I feel I feel I feel we give people uh too many chances. Well, their excuses too much power. Like we give people like the second chances, like you're saying, to their excuses, or whatever. Can we try to understand where the where this person's trying to come from? And when do you, when it, when does that time you be like, nah, fuck that? Like, yeah. Well, you know they say excuses are the tools of the incompetent. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know they bring build monuments and nothing that's bridges to nowhere. People who excel in them, self and excel in anything else. Big brother got that right. Big brother, sir. Big brother, sir. I think I got that right, big brother, sir. Who wrote that shit? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you've been online. I know. I feel like. But uh, yeah, so I think I think excuses, I don't know. I, I feel like I'm on the fence about excuses because it depends. Mm -hmm. um, because I, I think some people, I think the word excuses is used kind of broadly. Cause like, what if somebody like really has a legit reason? And so like, that's why I kind of like when people say excuse, I like to say reason instead mm -hmm. of excuse. Because no. excuse sounds negative. Mm -hmm. So like, oh, you giving an excuse? Well, no, I'm trying yeah. to give you my reason. The this reason, is my why. reason. But what if they why. don't know the reason? And they're like, they just make some shit up. That's an excuse. Mm -hmm. I'm like, like, I just have a problem. I don't know. Like, I just have a problem. But well, what if they just don't know? Yeah. I mean, is that is it still an excuse if they don't know? Like, is, is that something that I guess we need a situation? I think I think I think it's an excuse when you do know <laughs> what you've done, and and, and, okay. and and you know what you've done, and you know how you could have resolved that. Yeah, you I know. Think that, and then you be like, you know, what I'm saying, yeah, I could have did this, but you know what happened was blah blah blah. You making an excuse now? Okay. Because yeah. you know you you know what you could have really did. You know what I'm saying you don't have a reason like, hey. I couldn't make it to this thing at, at this time, whatever, because I got caught by a train, blah, 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 what case may be. You talking I'm about? like, I did Sunday fun day and I couldn't make it to work, so I was hungover. Is that an excuse? No, that's, that's too, that's, to me, that's kind of a reason. That's a wait, reason. Wait, but when you people make excuses, they go into a story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Be like, oh, I couldn't make it to work yesterday because I got hungover because, you know, Chris was out there doing his thing, and you know I be tripping sometimes. And it's like I want to hear that shit. That's an excuse. Oh, you going? You going to? I that female because you know I didn't want her to feel like she was ugly, so that's why <laughs> she landed on my dick. Wow. That's, a reasons. that's a reason. 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 Not a reason. That's why I cheated on you, baby. But I still love you. I just fuck them hoes. I love you, my baby boy. So, so, all right, excuse me. Mm. Yeah, I'll be lying to the hoes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I tell the truth to the hoes, I lie to you because I love you. I love you. But, but, that's uh, the reason. That's the reason. And that's from baby. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I hate that movie. <laughs> Let me ask you this word hate. I don't like that movie. It makes, black men, it makes black men look horrible. It makes black men look horrible too. It really does. I mean, shit, she was trying to get better. She was trying kinda, to get better. Kind of. Kind of. That sounds like an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let me ask you this: what, When do you think is when do you think would be a valid time to give an excuse? We can go to since we since Ashley brought up relationship type stuff, we can use that because that, that's always sparks better conversation anyway. So, like, 
are you accepting of people's excuses in a relationship? Like, or do you do you require them to explain them more, or do you would you rather them just tell you what their excuse is? I think I think excuses are used more in a relationship when you don't want to hurt the person's feelings. You yeah. don't want to hurt them with the truth, so you use an excuse. I'd rather you like, tell me the truth. Fuck that yeah, excuse. But, 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 I don't want to hear. Yeah. You, yeah, you, you I'd want, rather my feelings you, be fucking hurt. You want you want a valid reason than an excuse. I don't want to hear. You know, well, uh, man, James th- wanted to drive the car, so I had to ride with him, and I was sleep on the side of the road, and then she popped up, and I had to ride back to her, her house and get. He had my car, and you know how my car be, you know, jerking Ashley, that type of shit. Damn, no, a, that was a laugh. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <my bad. laughs> when, when did that happen to you? Yeah. October twenty first, night Yeah, <laughs> yeah so. nah, yeah, so. that's an excuse. I mean, take but, your ass home. <laughs> I, I feel like, I feel like, is it is it okay, is it okay to give excuses, and and, and they can be true excuses. They can be true, but you want to do that's an excuse. Just say you want to go over that whole house. Leave me alone. Just say that. But I mean, just that, say, that's hey, kind of I was there where I was. I don't want to hear your whole story why you was. Okay, so now now I gotta know is there a difference between giving an excuse and lying? Because that sounds like a lot. Like if what I'm telling mean? you I had to go over there, blah blah, but I just wanted to go over there. I'm probably lying to you, right? No, that's an excuse. Because you were just saying, like, well, we all went over there, so I went. And, like, I told, like, I don't know. I got to think about well, it. Well, 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 that's, well that's, that's, not a lie. that's not a lie. I would say it's an excuse. If you saying, like, if nothing, if you want another girl's house with her, right? Yeah. And nothing transpired or what the case may be, but your ass is there. Mm-hmm. And you have no reason being there. You have there. no reason being there. Yeah, no reason being Well, you know, I went over there because, you know what I'm saying, sister's going to ride by there. Cause his gal was there, so I went ahead and rode with him. And so you making an excuse? See, hold on. Okay, I'm so this, this, of me this brings me to another topic. Well, I mean, it's kind of part of this topic. It's connected, yeah. but I wanted to ask this. So sometimes it's almost easier to just lie. tell the truth. Tell the now, truth. Listen, listen. Because <laughs> sometimes, okay, because I've heard this other places. I had this discussion other places before, and they they were talking about how like sometimes it's actually easier to just lie because the truth sounds so unbelievable. So like let's say something like that did happen. Like I'm I'm riding somewhere, my car breaks down, my homeboy picked me up, but he had to go see his PO so he dropped me off over here. Closest spot was this place. You got too much shit going on. That's gonna make me leave you the fuck alone. Right. But let's say all of this shit does happen. Like it's just coincidence of events. (laughs) And so you get to the point where like now you're like, okay, if I go back and tell her all the shit that really happened she gonna look at me sideways and be like, "Nigga, you lying." Yeah. But if I tell her, you know, this, this, and that happened, and it's a real simple story, mm-hmm. but it's a little bit more believable, I'm actually lying to you. Yeah. But it sounds better. So, which excuse would you want? Would you want the long, drawn out excuse that sound like a lie, or would you just? I want the truth. You want the truth. Mm-hmm. Are you gonna believe somebody when they tell you? Because you, I was halfway through the story, and you already said that's too much shit going on. It is too much shit going on. So what if that much shit is going on? I'm a list, I'm listening to half of that, and I'm and then you gonna zone it out. Yeah. So like, that's why I say it's almost on. pointless to give a long excuse like that. True. Sure. Because like if I give you a long excuse, you're not gonna believe me. See? <laughs> Stop <Stomped> it. <laughs> no, you ain't stopped me. Oh, y'all be lying anyway. <laughs> but then that goes to like the other, another question, though, is basically when is enough enough? Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? You get so many excuses from, like, you take so many excuses okay. from people. Okay. Right. This is how like, I know it's enough. When I just start, like, just. Turn out. I, and that's bad. Because usually I listen to people. And now I just be well, like, what, what making so many excuses, like, I ain't got time for this shit. No. Or it's too many stories. Or it's always something going on. You always got a fucking story. What they always say, like, whether you never want anger to turn into apathy. Mm. I feel that. Like, like, yeah. what, what if I'm just a very good storyteller? And so, like, when it, when it comes time for me to tell you what happened, I always have a long story because I'm just, I'm just a very intricate storyteller. So you're going to get tired of me telling stories just because Hell that's yeah. who I am? Yep. That's fucked up. I don't want no storytelling, nigga. Say, 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 I'm tired of your novels, nigga. Give me the cliff notes. I'm well, I woke up early, actually, and I was like, man, I should go take a shower, but I was like, nah, I'm going to go run these errands right quick. Then come you. back and take a shower. So I was like, man, my boy say, you going to come get a fan? I was like, man, I should come get a fan, so I missed my shower. Then I woke up, and I was like, man, I should go run these errands right quick. Then come back and take a shower. So I was like, man, I should come get a fan, so I missed my shower. 
and next I had to go get my hair cut. Then we start playing uh 2K, whatever the fuck y'all play on the video game. You don't get we start playing, we start playing 2K, and you know what I'm saying I'm betting that nigga. He betting me. I'm hitting him with the threes and the. And then his girl came over like I'm cooking, so she made us a plate. That's why I already ate. That's basically we supposed to go out to eat. Get your ass late. <laughs> right there, right there. <laughs> All of that, all that story, that that great story that I just told. Yeah. Whether well, that's gonna boil down to, oh, so some other bitch fed you. Right. And <laughs> so that, right. I should just never told the story. But to be honest, be honest, he gotta cut that one out. You're right. Yeah. Don't bring no bitch in there. Yeah. Yeah. Now, once I heard that, I was like, so you eating somebody else's food? Oh, okay. And yeah. nigga, you know we about to go out to eat, yeah. and that's why I'm late for coming to get. And I need to take a shower because we late. Oh, and you and definitely I, can't take no shower. You can't take no shot. Like, and that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to You got to lie. Like, you got to be like, hey, man, I had to help my boy change his tire. No, you don't lie like that. This <laughs> day, I was sick. You're outside rolling the grass. You ain't got to lie. Dirty. You don't have to lie. You just don't give all the information. You just say, I was at my homeboy house. And just. Why you got to take a shower coming from your boy homeboy house? Who the fuck? Oh, you crazy? You crazy. 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 I if I say like you that. are one of the few, I was like, I'm you not, are cause I have to take a shower that. sometimes. I mean, I'll take a shower, but like, I don't be like, why you got to take a shower? Like, it's really a lot of. Hmm. Yeah, that, that is a lot of women that. Do I, say, I don't think, think like that. that. Cause that's, that's the main difference between men and women. Like. A woman can say, like, yeah. Because I want to be fresh when we go I, I, out. I, I, so I, I, get your I, ass I, fresh when we go. For most women, I can ask you, where where have you been? And you be like, I, I don't like, like that no, question. No, I don't like no, that well, question. Well, how you all that? <laughs> I was just saying. You, <laughs> like you, you ask some women, like, where have you been or whatever? Mm -mm. And they be like, oh, I was at such such house. And men will be like, okay. All right. And keep it, and keep it moving. Yeah, I'm true. You know what I'm saying? Whereas, I'm men, older now, probably. You know what I'm saying? Whereas men be like, you know what I'm saying? A woman say, where you at? Where, where have you been whatever? Oh, I was at Josh's house. Okay. Okay. What y'all doing over there? Who, who all over there? Who's all over there? I don't ask that. I don't ask that. I don't even know them niggas. Yeah. I don't know them niggas like that. I don't care. You yeah, don't care. But that's what I'm saying. And, and so like from... And, and I don't like, care about you, stuff, It's yeah. you and it's other women like you. But and, and like, a lot of times with males, it's usually like... It's usually like, okay. But you should know who you're with. Don't, yeah, I don't I don't know the, whoever you hanging out with. So, like, you go, oh, uh, where was you at? And I was at Keisha's house. And I'm like, oh, all right. I don't know nothing about Keisha. I don't know Keisha's people. I don't know shit about it. So, yeah. even if I ask about it, it ain't going to tell me shit. I know. But, like, then, like, some women will come back and be like, well, who was over there? And like, you don't know nobody to be at Josh's That's house. That's why I don't hate. So, I'd be like, I okay, well, I mean, it was Jacob, it was Tyrone, it was Keith and them. And then, who is oh, them? Yeah, who, who is Keith and who is them? <laughs> Where, where you meet them from? Yeah. Like, God damn, I, I don't know. Like, I, I, yeah, I, mean, I don't know. The nigga, nigga always hanging out like that. Shit. I guess I, I don't ask all that. I can kind of tell, like, when a nigga is around a female by how y'all text, how you text in your movement. I've been around you a what? long time. Shit, I know. How you gonna tell from a text message? Because God gave me that sign. He gave yeah, me this. A, a like, I know. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, that sign to be alone, huh? Alone? That's, yeah, alone. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> that's, that's the sign he gave you. Sorry, Lord. He's talking over here. Oh, he's talking about me. <laughs> but no, he's, I can tell. When you met this, I can tell. I'm like, oh, this text message is too long. You trying to explain some shit so I won't call. See, now I can't give you a long expl explanation because no, so, that's the problem. No, I call you talking about, oh, I'm, I'm out eating, blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. You don't do that. So, I know you out with a bitch, and now See, I must call back, and you must pick up the phone. The difference is, the difference is, I'll leave it alone. I would, I would leave, I would leave a long I message like that to avoid questions. So, I could say, oh, I'm out eating. Who you eating with? Where you at? Like, the questions are going to start coming after that, right? They so can ask that. I'm not in a relationship, so I don't ask nothing like that. But, I'm just, but, see, but, see, but see, that's bad, because I've been in a situation where... I do want to be kind of elaborate in my text, yeah. and I stop myself because I'm like, damn, it's not like I'm lying. Yeah, you come yeah, sound like you lying. Yeah, you are, and that's how I feel. Why the fuck are you telling me all this shit? I ain't asked you that. You give me too much information. Yeah. You sound like you're lying. I, ain't even ask I don't even ask a nigga where he at unless we got something going. I'm not going to ask them, but when niggas start giving you everything, that mean they're doing something wrong because I ain't asked you all that shit. I'd be like, they'd be like, they'd be like <laughs> I, get, I, get, I get, get a text message, but like, I didn't hey, ask you for hey, none of that. Hey, how are, um, how's your day going? Oh, I'll be like, oh no, it was good. You know what I'm saying? We didn't do too much today. Blah, blah, Who the blah. Fuck is we? Nah, 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 you put like, that we in no, there, so no, now we got to no. figure that I think, shit out. You go through a whole like, yeah, we didn't do too much today. Nothing going to work. Blah, blah. And I went to my mom's house about this. Thing. Then you can be like, you look at it like, 
No. Let me go back. Delete. I'm like, how was your day? Good. It was okay. It was all right. Yeah. It was a good day. <laughs> like, no, you gotta be like, it's a, it was a good day today. How was yours? Yeah, that, that's exactly how yeah. it was. I'm like, oh, my day was like, all right. How was yours? You ain't gonna yeah. be going out in detail like that. Like, bitch, what you trying to hide over there? <laughs> yeah. And that's the point we come back to. Because you're trying to be. Excuses. Yeah. Because it's not even an excuse. Like, he's really trying to explain to you. Oh, y'all really are? <laughs> Just wanna talk. <laughs> like, <I> gotta... <laughs> oh, men wanna talk? Oh, yes. Men don't wanna talk. Yes, they do sometimes. Like, sometimes you know, with some people they do. Yeah. Yeah, last night this nigga was talking too much. I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. See, no that's more. why niggas don't want to talk to y'all because y'all like, I don't talk too much. He was talking too much. <laughs> I know I talk a lot, but I was like, yeah. nigga, you expressing yourself? No, right. I ain't got confidence. Y'all not confident right now. Niggas are not. Can I, I win mean. for losing? Now. Like, we, I didn't know y'all express yourself really. Like, I mean, but we do. And the thing is, like I said, back to this whole excuses and explanations thing. Like, we can't win for losing. If we explain because everything, it's an excuse. I've been around too many men that ain't talk. So when a nigga do start talking, I be like, what are you doing? You lying. Basically. <laughs> you're trying. I feel like you're trying to come up with something to make me feel like, oh, you do have a problem. Oh, is everything okay? Nah, nigga, be the same nigga you want. Keep the same energy. Like you had five days ago. Like, that's okay. I mean, but you can't keep the same energy. It's true. Day. And now I understand. Maybe some people... But I, I'm emotional. I don't get to tell I'm emotional all the time. But I mean, okay, so my issue is this. Like I said, if if we explain and give an excuse, like if we explain our excuse, then it's a problem because we explain it so it sounds like we lied. Mm -hmm. But if we don't explain, we're not giving enough information probably because we lied. Like we hide right. something. So like we hide right. something. Right. <laughs> so either way. You damn if you do, damn if you don't. <laughs> right. So with, as far as excuses go, at least at least from the male side, I mean, I guess. So do you feel like you should female. tell the truth, or you feel like you should just lie? That, you sound like, like you just want to lie to keep no, the peace. No, no, I I feel like you have to know how to tell the truth, which sounds bad. It sounds like you're freaking about to no, lie. But you have to know how to tell the truth and how Ooh. to break it down for the person you're No, to just tell me. Did no, you, you did just you, said it was too much. Did you have sex with that chick? Yes or no? Don't give me like. Well, That's a dumb question. Yes. That is a dumb question. That, that ain't no dumb, dumb question. No, no, I'm saying like no. It's, it is. I'm like no. Because if I did do something, I'm like oh well, you know, I'm not gonna be uh this and that. Like no if they quiet when you ask that question, they did it. What if they lying. quickly say no? They lying. So if he's quiet, he lying. <laughs> if you yep. say no, damn, damn, if damn, you damn, say damn. yes. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta see that nigga, and I gotta see what's the reason you act that. Exactly, and so as a male, you have. But I can look at, I can look at a dude until he lying. You have to gauge the woman you talking to to know how much of the truth I should give her before she thinks it's a lie. Women lie, lie, lie as much as you can. The day, they you, don't know shit at anyway. The day, you know, you fucked up because you asked me that question. You already know the answer, right? So do y'all want us to tell you everything we doing? I mean, if I ask, but if I'm not asking... So, are you me, asking, like, who was over there? I don't want nobody asking me this shit, so I don't ask them. Like, I don't I might them. ask, I might ask, if she's gone somewhere, like, if it's somebody I'm talking to, like, seriously or with, then, of course, I'm going to ask, like, where, where were you at? And then she's going to say where she was. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Because if somebody says she's talking to, now I'm telling her, like, where she at? You already know that. You should already know. I don't like you asking me where you at. You so don't, that's what you're supposed to do. Let's talk about that. Why, why do you feel like that? You, are you ain't my... That's... that's that's to, yeah, we good. So, we're so, supposed to be. We got we got places we need to be. I'll be there. So what are you trying to hide? I'm not Why trying I'm to hide you? shit. <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> you trying to hide some shit. <laughs> That's what that is. Mind your business. I guess because I was. Just, I just feel like this a. You trying to treat me like a child? Keep asking me questions. So, 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 so that's where that comes from. You feel like a child, like somebody's yeah, trying yeah, to. Yeah, you keep you. asking. That's all I got to ask. Where you going? Where you at? Who you on the phone with? Get off the phone. So So I can't be with a dude like that. That's too So this has so to, I rather to do, do nothing. with the dude then. Yeah, it does. This has to do with you. Don't ask me that question. Don't ask me where right. you at. Because you don't you don't feel comfortable with that question. You don't you don't feel comfortable with somebody that asks you those things. I don't mind it, but not too much. Because if they do it too much, it feels like what? Con you're trying to control me. Mm. Okay, so do you, you feel like when people ask fuck. you a lot of questions, you really know they're trying to control you and be nosy. You asking a lot right now. <laughs> this is what I do. I, I don't like this shit. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Thank you. Next. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was good with it. Huh? I was. So you feel like <laughs> you don't be asking a lot. I'm like, God damn. The tone changed. There, I know. No. I, had the, I had the real therapy. She's no. like, she's like, like, like you trying to hit me with flip flops? What, what the fuck happened? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's a lot of control. Yeah, I got a 
have a lot of excuses with that too. Uh, yeah, no, nah, you 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 have issues with people trying to control you, and I feel that. Yes, men always try to control you. But okay, my thing well, is. Well, me. Let me just speak on it. Always try to control me. Let me ask you this: Do you want to know information about what the nigga is doing? If if he's somebody if, you talking to. What what kind of information? Like where he at? What he doing? This is daily, okay. it's daily stuff. His routine. Well, okay. Because you know, like, uh, if you don't want to know. Hey, did that. you make it there? I do ask like questions like everything okay? Yeah, that's cool. You made it safe. Cool. Like I'm not like where you at? Where you, you going never, tonight? Where you, you going to be? At? Mm-hmm. You never felt like you wanted to know what was going on. Probably like, so. I mean, because you've had you've alluded to the fact that you uh, don't trust niggas as it is. So, who, who do you do you really trust people? Like, do you? I trust God. Right. And I trusted Thank God. You. Really. I don't trust nobody. In fact, that's what the sermon was about on Sunday. Mm. Trust Him. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I trust. I trust the Lord too, and He gave me, you know, good advice not to trust anybody else. He said, "Don't trust." Him. Right. Yeah. I trust you as much as you know I can. Everybody makes mistakes. I forgive. I don't hate anyone, but let's be honest. I don't really trust nobody. Niggas out here lying. They gonna protect themselves, not me. I mean that's true. I, and I'm I'm not saying niggas ain't lying. I mean yeah. cause people lie. It's yeah, important. the job lie. Oh, but, if you gonna get a raise, you ain't getting shit. Um, you know. But at some point you have to you have to like you said. Okay, in order to not ask those questions, you have to trust some kind of way. Yeah, I trust you enough that you. I trust you enough. Like, okay, well, if it's somebody but, that you really care about, then you have to be able to accept their, what we're talking about, excuses. Like, you have yeah, to I, got to, I still have some excuses. Yeah. I'm used to it. I didn't got immune to it. It's kind of messed up. I mean, that's not messed up to accept people's excuses. I feel like excuses. some excuses you shouldn't accept. I think you should accept excuses or, or ex- I'm going to say explanations. You should accept explanations from people that you actually trust. I don't think everybody you talk to, you should accept excuses from. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's that's crazy. I wouldn't. There's some people I'm like, get the fuck with you because I, I know you, you lying. Yeah, you ain't gonna put your mouth here. I already know you about to lie. Yeah, basically. I know you know some people that's gonna lie. But I'm saying you have people that you should trust, like people you love, should be somebody that you can put trust in, and you don't have to worry about exclusives or explanations or any of that because you know whatever they tell you is gonna be the truth. Okay. Even the, even if it's a long one that you thinking, oh, he telling me too much. He, he lying. I'm trying to think of like a family issue instead of relationship stuff. Okay, that's a good idea. Let's see. Um. Do I trust them? I trust them enough. But I've also been burned with family enough to like... Uh... To not trust them. Yeah, we do. You trust them as far as you can go on. No, I don't trust them enough. Mm. Everybody, regardless of it's a relationship, it's friendship, family, whatever. Yeah. Everybody's trust is never 100%. No, everybody's yeah. trust has a limit because at the end of the day, everybody's going to work in their own self-interest. I mean, that's true. I don't work like that, though. I'm a loyal person. I'm a cancer. We loyal. We emotional. I fight for you. But once you burn that bridge, nigga, it's over. But, I mean... But, but like, like I say, somebody can be with you, right? Hmm? You'd be like, you know what? I trust Ashley with everything, whatever. Case don't trust me with everything. No, now. but they can say, they can say that. I, yeah, I trust you 100% that. and blah, blah, blah. That you won't got to have my back, this and that, right? Yeah. And then they get themselves some shit. And they come to you, or you right there, you like, I ain't doing that shit. Yeah, I ain't whatever. What they, you want me to do? No, but I'm talking about they, oh, they, but, but, but they feel burnt by that. They be like, man, I truly trust you, and you kind of fucked me over. Now, I, the, I got told that this, yeah. a couple, like, actually, I got told that this week, yeah. and he was like, I really thought you wouldn't do me like that. Well, I was yeah. like, nigga, I thought, yeah. but you made me turn like that. But that, but that's the whole point, though. Like I say, everybody, like I wasn't like no, this before. No, everybody, everybody's trust at a certain different level because it goes with your own self interest. Mm-hmm. If I feel like something is going against, that's going to hurt me in the long run, whatever, I'm not going to go against that to help you out. True. You know what I'm saying? And, that, and that's not me being mean towards you or doing something negative towards you. I'm just not going to put myself in a bad situation to help you. But that person looking at you really fucked me over. Probably like, so. Because, because they have a false sense of, I thought you had me. Because that's the you. idea yeah. of what yeah. what they thought I would do for them. Yeah. But I mean, oh, that's true in my case. I probably thought you would do more for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, trust goes both ways. And the thing is, like, since we're on the topic that we were on, like, excuses, that, that's the big thing about excuses is excuses are going, going to go as far as the trust goes. So, like, if the excuse is going to work, then you have to trust it. Whether it be at work, uh, uh, in a relationship, in a family, whatever. Like, even if you're at work 
if you a good worker that's always on time and you always do your shit right, mm-hmm. and you show up one day and be like, no, so my car got a flat, blah, 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 you start explaining the whole story, they're going to be like, it's cool, Ashley always show up, so I know if she giving me this excuse, she probably ain't lying. Like, oh, she probably ain't real. Cause, they probably know I'm lying. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not talking okay. about you. I'm talking about real life. We're not talking about the real Ashley. Yeah. Talking about, I got it together this that. year a little bit better. But, but yeah, so like. I if, had about four flats and one you, month. If you've established the trust, if you've yeah. established trust, then the excuses work. Because it's like, you gave me an excuse and I trust you, so your excuse works for me. But if you don't have no trust builder, that's why, like, if you dealing with somebody that you're dating or you're just kind of talking to and you don't really. Y'all ain't really built that kind of trust, and they come with a long excuse. You be like, "Nigga, you lying," because you don't know, you don't trust them enough to be like, "Yeah, I believe that he he would do that." I, I think all all that stuff he's telling me to happen, I believe it happened because okay. he's just that individual. What if they give you they? Okay, what if they didn't have your back and they gave some type of excuse? Like I've had like family that didn't have my back and they gave excuse, but I, I had to step away. I was really hurt. Mm-hmm. And I came back and I understood why they did it. The excuse or, or what they did? Why they did what they did. Okay. I don't but condone. But was the excuse valid that they gave? At the time? No. At the time it wasn't. Never going to be valid, but I okay. understand. I would not like it to happen, but I understand your excuse, what you gave me, that bullshit, but it's cool. I mean, okay. And that's what I'm saying. Like, if, if, there's, a, if there's ever a like break that. in the trust, if there's a break in the trust, then the excuses don't work. And that's kind of how it works. So. Mm-hmm. If you don't have an established trust uh, foundation, then like giving excuses and all that kind of stuff is not really gonna work because you're never gonna believe nothing they say anyway. There's like a, they could give you an eleven excuse. But I excuse. do, I do believe them. I but just I, feel but like I'm saying like that's because you still have some kind of a trust for them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like if there's somebody you don't trust, they can give you a long excuse or they can give you a short excuse. Either way, you're not gonna trust it because you don't trust that. Person. You've been, you've been but I trust, yeah, I trust people yeah. in certain different ways, like. Yeah, I mean, you should. Like, yeah. people are going to be on different levels. Different yeah. trust levels. Yeah. And it, and it kind of goes back again from something to what we were talking about, the power, like, the excuses, whatever. It is kind of be like your excuses built up. You build up trust equity. Right. You know what I'm saying? To a point where, like, okay, like you said, when you do have an excuse, whatever, somebody be like, that's not really who you are. Mm-hmm. So if you had that excuse, I believe where you're coming from. Right. You know, you might be lying through your teeth. Somebody be like, hey, I'm going to fuck with your excuse because... Of how, you know what I'm saying, yeah, our relationship. Yeah. yeah. But if you always have an excuse over and over again and stuff like that, you always kind of be called to the carpet on some bullshit. You know, if you can tell me the truth one day, I'm going to still think you're lying. Because yeah. you have no equity built up with me anymore. Man, I got an issue like that going on. I don't know. Don't Man. Know. But yeah, so just just work on that. Like, if you really want to talk about excuses, you really got to think about your trust level with people. Your trust level is what's really going to explain how much excuses, how many explanations that you're willing to take from somebody. And with that, I think we can move on. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so we're going to move on to the what y'all lying about segment. <laughs> which is, you know, basically we're going to talk about what's been going on in the world lately. Of course, we missed a lot of stuff because we've been out the loop for like over two weeks. But what, what, what is one of the stories that we uh, that we missed out on? Uh, we can talk about credit card shit. Who huh, credit card? You seen the credit card chick mm-hmm. about the? Uh, it's been posted around the videos this week. Talking about she was like, you spend a oh, day with your credit card. Girl. Girl. I can't. <laughs> I had to cut that shit off. Yeah. The first little sentence she said, I was like, wait a minute, what? You, you know what? And it, it ties back to a lot of conversations that have come up on social media from Twitter to Facebook and all that. Because it, it ties back to people just not understanding how credit. works. Basically, like, I was like, like, "Damn, she's not dumb." Black people, they really disappoint me, man. <laughs> I thought it was fake, really though. I was like, "This got to be fake." And the reason I believe it is because of the argument, the other credit arguments I've seen. Okay, explain what happened. Okay, she was talking about uh, some she said, don't let no nigga take you on a date uh-huh. and that, uh, that, that pays with the credit card because he yeah. just, the government is paying for your date. He got to pay the government back with that credit. That's his fucking credit. She said the government is paying for it. That's yeah, she's like, Man, she's like, he's not using it. I don't care as long account. as I ain't got to pay. You know yeah, what I'm saying? She was, oh. like, she was like, you're not spending money off, your, off his own account, off his debit card. Yeah, Did like you? Credit he card. ain't got Why no is she so, okay. I bet she ain't got no credit. Yeah, but one thing, okay, so my first thing on that is, 
Don't worry about how I'm paying for it. Basically, you get a free meal. basically, <laughs> so, what you worry about it for? Let's use the credit. Because I've been, I've been, I've been like, like your, your, your money, your real money. <laughs> Won't yeah, God do it? <laughs> I was but, like, no, thank you, like pay. I, saying, I, I feel like it, it ties back to a lot of conversations that come up because, it, and it's always black people. They be disappointed. She gonna mess everybody up now. Because uh, have y'all seen the thing where like somebody posted it? Like, would you rather have um, eighty thousand dollars? Or like an 800, 800 credit score, score. yeah. I seen and that. then everybody's like, shit, I don't want the 800 credit score. Because I need that good credit and I can get as much money as I want. And I'm like, oh, y'all really don't understand how this shit works. Okay, <laughs> I'm not going to put an 8,000. You have to take the 8,000 and send it up. Like, fuck that. Right. Basically, I'll take that 8,000. Like, I'll take the 8,000, pay off pay off some of these debts and stuff and build Basically. my credit. Fuck and now they're like, nah, if you get 800, what I do is I get my 800 credit score. Go borrow eight thousand, eight thousand, and then they're gonna have race and then, all types of shit. Yeah, on no, and then they're like, no, but I'm, no. What they said was they're gonna take the eighty thousand that they borrow with a good credit and flip it, pay it back. Only black it. people flip shit real quick. Also. And the thing is, a lot of black people can't flip shit. I, I tried. <laughs> All black we people gonna think, flip this income tax. Actually, yeah. I was like, wait a minute, sir. What? All what black people. Do? No, I know, I know a real you flipping. Back, back in the day, flipping them uh, Ed Hardy hats. Yeah, <laughs> boy. I was flipping Ed Hardy hats at first and shit. Oh, Shut up. Oh, <laughs> I still got some because I couldn't flip them all. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I still got some because I couldn't sell them all. And I was like, Ellen, I can't sell this shit. But I sold the wallets, though. Oh, yeah. Like Louise and uh, yeah. the wallets. My stuff. brother was like, buy this, nigga. We're going to flip this stuff. But that's what I'm saying. All black I people. I trust say, that nigga, you see? Trust. All black people. <laughs> that's why I was like, you got me out here selling shit. I'm all in the parking lot every job. All black Y'all people think hat. they're able to flip shit. And I don't understand it. Like, I'm going to let it have next show. I still got some. Yeah. I mean, it happens. And that's why, like, I feel like, and I know we're not the only ones. I know, you know, white people do it, Mexican people do it, everything. I try to flip I some lean, like, too. That shit ain't work. Oh. No, but listen, listen. <laughs> So like you know how they have like the the pyramid scheme, I feel like they get us easily with those. So we like, Yo. oh, I can do that. I can flip yeah. that real quick. I'm gonna make this money back right now. Like this, them people talk so, them niggas talk to that. me so bad that I was like, I'm gonna fuck y'all up. Man, that pyramid scheme on Facebook. Which one was that? Remember that they had like you know, hey, you put you put make a wish thing. Yeah, no, man, you put twenty dollars in, and then you gonna get your name put to the next part. The yeah. top, whatever, and it's like Mm-mm. I might not. I gotta keep on getting. Basically, my cousin makes. Oh, no, no, no. But, but basically, <laughs> like I say when you break yeah. down the scheme, you kind of like, okay, for me to get my money back and what money, I basically gotta fuck some people over. Basically, you have to. She was like, you find somebody else, and we could do it like this. I was like, I ain't get my money back till like six months later. Yeah, but and I only put a hundred dollars. That took for. I was like, I just lost a hundred dollars. That, that's what I'm saying, but like everybody thinks they can flip shit, which is where the where this credit thing kind of gets misconstrued for people. And I was like, I, I guess people just really need to have like a class on credit and how credit cards and credit works, because everybody thinks, okay, I need a good. They credit need to score. do that in high school. They, they did like they, for they, real. They, people think like if I have a good credit score, then that just equals money. Like yeah. you having a good credit score don't equal no money. All it tells you is that you, you can borrow money from people. Right, we'll give you this, but you're gonna pay this shit yeah, back. Yeah, you have a good right. And some private. Right, so I mean, I mean, the only thing like my credit score right now, I've been working on it to build it back up because I don't really, but I don't need my credit score, and that's why I haven't really been worried about it mm-hmm. because I bought a house, I bought a car, like I, my credit has been used. Like that's usually what you need credit for is like yeah, house make big purchases. Yeah. So if I've already made my big purchase, then I don't have to worry about my credit being high right now. Cause I, or you know, sometimes for job applications, you know, some people, some Do jobs. they really look at that? Yeah, they, they some, some jobs go through your credit. How much you they owe? Think I'm I mean, it, they, they, they ain't paying me you enough. Trustworthy, you know what I'm saying? Trustworthy. Yeah. Like if you pay your bills on time, if you don't pay your bills. How you Are y'all gonna work? pay me like to pay my bill? Yeah. If no, you, they if don't. You good at paying your bills? They don't pay. They don't pay me enough to pay my bills. But some of them hoes ain't get paid. I mean, you know, which, which which is which is kind of dumb because you be like, I'm trying to get a job to pay my bills, yeah. so my bills are all fucked off. Maybe because I ain't got no damn job. Basically, what if I got laid off? And yeah, so. you know, my husband he's sick. You know, I'm trying to think of what we all are. Nah, it's, it's it's all over the place with that. But like, yeah, she had no clear idea about credit. Yeah, she had no idea what credit was. He's gonna pull a credit card. At least he didn't pull a credit card out that didn't work. That happened to me on my date before. So we just gonna sit here till you find some cash, boo. Nah, I had to have a meal on the date before. 
That shit ain't working. She told her to swipe again. I was like, I just kept eating my chips. I mean, every day. Not right. case for deal. But I always keep an extra credit card just for that reason. He had cash. I was happy. Yeah. I'm saying, but you got to, like I said, that, that's one of my worst fears. Like going somewhere and they come back and like, oh, your stuff in the closet. Cause it's, it's happened before. My stuff got my stuff in the closet. I was trying to buy some weed and them. Yeah. Oh wow. You just gonna say it on the air. I'm about to. <laughs> you just gonna say it on the air. Like, shit. I'm trying to buy some weed. I and mean, them. I was trying to buy a t-shirt. Uh, the t-shirt. Yeah. I actually was souvenir. trying to buy a souvenir out the weed shop. I said, and, you don't have to be in the weed shop. <laughs> <laughs> the wig, the wig, the weed, the weed shop. I'm gonna change something here. Yeah, like hair, yeah, like weed. Yeah, whatever. But like, I, I hate the, like my car got declined one time because they said, uh, "Oh, you don't, it's not working." Blah blah blah. I'm like, I know I got money in this account. Yeah. They, and basically, it was I guess it's because the strip wasn't working on the oh. car. It wasn't recognized, but. Feel, even that chip thing be yeah, messing up too. I yeah. had to learn how to swipe. Now I don't want a new car. So like, I'm fucking embarrassed a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you're not swiping right or yeah. doing the chip right and shit. They're just trying to clown you, man. Yeah, they, don't let them do it to you. My bank said you can't get no, nothing from here, ma'am. Bank of America doesn't do that. They were like, you do have. I mean, we see the transaction. They didn't approve. I mean, they didn't make it go through. I was like, okay, I got cash. But thanks, lady. I'm over here looking, trying to get some Gorilla Glue. Are you tripping? Anyway. That shit worked too much. Oh, you ain't getting out of here. No. Anyway, <laughs> what else? What else? What else did we not touch on, man? Oh shit. Um, I don't know. I don't want to get political. Like that. Yeah, I, don't okay. know. I, I just thought about that too. I was like, you got some dumb questions. Oh no, we have to. Uh, <laughs> we, you know, we can go on this one because I kind of want to do the paperwork for the whole side, man. Right? Okay, That's but. Uh, White people learn what curving is. Curving. Yeah. So how you be curving? I don't curve. Okay, I curve. I know you do. You light skin. Yeah. No, 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 no. no, no. You, it's built in. It's like it's like a. You, you can take y'all text and curve. Dudes text and curve. I'm better not curve me. So. I mean, I just I, okay. So first of all, let's talk about the story. The story was that on Huffington Post they made an article where they were like. Oh, it's a new trend. Move over ghosting. Now we have curving. Like it's 2018. Curving been around. Being curved. Curving been around but at was... least since. I mean, even just the term curve. More than ten years. Been, uh, it's been about it's been, ten years. Yeah. It, yeah. I, the first time, like we started using it frequently, was like on Twitter. But it was like 2009, 2010. Okay. So like, I, I know that curving the, the term has been around for a long time. But why people just be so behind? Oh. Like how do they? How do they? I hate when they find something out and then they write like whole yeah. articles on it and stuff. And like, it's like, no, it's been out. My was like, yeah. twerking. Bitch, I've been twerking since 95. Would you believe Yeah, twerking been out. So, yeah. <laughs> like, not twerking was a new trend. In, I, like, was twerking with Luke, I was twerking and with Luke, nigga. I was twerking with Luke. And then I laugh now or whatever, like, dances that then came out that black people didn't know, right? Mm -hmm. Now that somebody see a dance, whatever, they're like, oh, uh, they're doing the, uh, the new Fortnite dance. What is that? Yeah, like what's the Fortnite? Fortnite is a game, whatever that a lot of kids play. Now nah, stuff like that, but they have like the like the your avatar, your little person does like you can make them do little dances and all kind of other stuff. And people like stuff that we see on in music and everything else, whatever they be like, oh, that's on Fortnite. Yeah, They're like no, this should been out for. They could be doing the fucking cabbage cabbage patch. And they'd be like, oh, shit, that's the new Fortnite dance. I'm like, nigga, that's the uh, Cabbage Patch. It's from the <laughs> early 90s? No. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, because they done put it on, like, these video games, the little white kids playing, now the white kids, like, I was watching a baseball game, and the kids in the stands were doing all these different dances, and they were like, look at these kids doing all these dances from Fortnite. And I'm like, dog, they, the dances were regular black people dances before Fortnite. Yeah. And they still in our Oh, they always. They always. Yeah, that's, that's just how. And now they're taking curving. They're like, "Oh, the new thing is curving." They're, they're probably an analogy for. It. I ain't go into that for like yeah. what they what they classify as curving. Oh, okay. I should have read the I article. Curve. Do you curve on Texas? You curve. Y'all curve. Texas. Yeah, you know how you say Texas. 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 <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Texas. <laughs> that's like the what's name now? The whole of uh, <laughs> was it the Dexter's Laboratory meme? Oh, uh, with, yeah. uh, with, with the, the accent. Yeah, so I like your accent. Oh, yeah. I like your accent, Ashley. Tell me how you say Texas. Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Texas. <laughs> Texas. So y'all be curving in y'all's Texas? Yeah. 
Do I? Uh-huh. You, you might you say. You probably be ghosting people though, for real. I don't ghost people. Come on now. You don't ghost people at all. What's go? Uh-uh. They What's see me. They you, see me. Now you gonna start lying. They see me. Nah. And man. Instagram. Nah, you don't be responding to their DMs and shit. Not no more. That's tough. It depends. What are you talking about? Have you ever? Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> let me ask you this. When, when, when somebody, when somebody say, "Hey, you know, I just miss you," and he takes back, "LOL." Yeah. Oh yeah, that's. I was that's gonna say. I, I did that before. I, I just don't believe in lying. <laughs> I don't want to lie. I, I was like, the, okay, it depends, day, it depends who be, it is. Uh, when I used to be texting people a lot or whatever, I would say shit like, like if somebody said I miss you and it was like somebody I wouldn't have been fucking with like that. Ooh, what would you I'd say? Like, you mean, ooh, that's fucked <laughs> up. I mean, like, what that's are you a supposed big to curve. say? That's a big curve. Like, I was like, oh, thank, I was like, oh, thank you. That's a curve too. No, don't say shit. That's don't say up. shit. That's, that's, what's up. That, that's what's up. I got a friend that says, don't do that. Nah, I don't do that. Like, I feel like yeah. that's me. I feel like that's me, me the way I say it. But the thing about curving is... Who this? Curving is... I'm real... I'm quick to play. So I try to make it a play. Who this? Like, I play. No, nah, but curving... But curving is, like, trying to be nice about it so you don't get saved. LOL. Yeah. Oh, like, they got emojis now, so it helps me out. Yeah. Smiley yeah. face. Yeah. I put a smiley face on everything. Yeah, put, like, like, a like, blushing face. Yeah, if you put, like... Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, you so gorgeous. Like, smiley face. That's it. Yeah. That, gotta, that's curving. You gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. That's curving. Like that's, you just you find different ways to not say. Bro, what you, you so fun. Mm, all right, thank you. Yeah. Just say thank you. Move on. I ain't trying to have no conversation. I don't really know what you just yeah. said. Yeah. But you niggas, say. y'all be on some thirsty shit sometimes. Dudes be on some thirst. But what you could say is, hey, bro, I don't really fuck with you like that. And then that would, that would that's be That's wrong. wrong. See, not, but in order to avoid being wrong, you curve. Because all, so all he got to say is like, bitch, all I said was you look good. Fuck you then. Fuck you then. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to go down. So I just got that. LOL. Thank you. Yeah, no. Happy face. I understand. I understand, curve. Don't. Don't throw up the uh the, the emojis with the good the hard eyes. Mm-mm. Don't do that. You can't show no sign of you liking. That's why the the, the blushing one is good. I don't like use blushing. Cause I ain't blushing. This smiley face. Uh, yeah. Do the upside down smiley face. <gasps> yeah. I do crazy eyes. <laughs> the fact that you just made the crazy eyes. <laughs> no, but yeah, no. I, I, mean, I use that shit a lot. I mean, like that'd be crazy for real. You gotta just get out of here. It's, it's, I mean, I feel like psychologically I speaking, uh, it's you a can good see thing. the text and don't reply to like four hours later. Just leave it on read. That is a curve. Uh, no, 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 read. No, no, no. Just, no, no. just, just don't. Read. You yeah. see that shit, you be like, oh, thanks. I wait real late. But yeah, wait for like four hours before you say that. Because I'm because you. I, at that point, I'm like, all right, bitch, I ain't even talking to you no more. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm done with you. Because if you see it at first, they're going to keep calling the conversation, Joy. You be like, nah, nigga, this ain't what you want. No. Nah. Yeah. You can't, you can't respond Curve. fast. No. That's, that's them games. And you can't like, respond fast. That's the game. I do that a lot. I hate, I hate that. I, I really don't like it because I, I don't understand the games like that. Like, it, don't play games. Just be like, hey, God, I don't fuck with you. Cool. We don't have to talk to each other no more. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, you don't have to say it like that, bold, so, like that blatant, but you got to say like, okay, hey, man, I don't know what you think this is. So do y'all but, know <laughs> when women mad through a sex? Yeah. What do we say? Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I don't Kay. use K though. What, you, what else? What else? Do you use? Mm. Like you doing all right? Yeah, if, if, if they, they really say short. I'm good, I'm saying, like one word. Yeah, if they say short. I'm good, they ain't good. Yeah. You did fucked up. We yeah. ain't never good. Like so, I can tell, I can mm. tell about what I'll do is if I think there's something wrong, if I say something and I get like a okay, mm-hmm. then I'll say something else that that requires like a, I mean, it's gonna be an open ended question. So it's like this is one of those what? things where you have to answer and they'll, they'll yeah. still give I you one word answer. What, what would you ask? Cause you, 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 you gotta ask. Okay, so like you. Don't you ask think, me no shit. I gotta really open up. If I problem. think you, you, I, I'm like, are you alright? Or, or I just ask you anything. You say okay to it, mm-hmm. and I'd be like, so I mean, so what'd you do today? And then you say nothing. Oh like, yeah. Or, or, so or, like, like, yeah. Yeah. Or, or, yeah. Or, or you have to answer that question. Like, hey, I remember you said you had to go to the store today. Did you? uh did you go get what you need and stuff like that? I don't hurt yeah. your feelings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Feel- yeah, hey man. Then I'll be like, hey, I'm I'm gonna hit you back. Yeah, that that, that shit. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna hurt your feelings. I don't want to talk no more. I'm gonna hit I you mean, back. Ain't nothing you can say to that, but bitch. okay. Bitch. <laughs> and don't hit me with that bit. Don't hit me with that bit. I don't like that shit. You don't like bit? Mm-mm. 
Mm-hmm. That's that's not when I and know y'all somebody, put that in the group. I be like, men just talk like that. I don't like that. Man, that's how that's how I talk um, to niggas. So like, if so, if a dude talk to me like that, I'm his nigga. Yeah, because like, and, I, and I'll say that to somebody when I know that they mad. So I'm like, oh okay, that's a bet, bet, bet. bet. <laughs> I right, bet, and I and I'll put I right, bet. That's how you feel, bet, bet. Oh, that's how you feel. Yeah. But, I mean, because I know you already mad. So like, I, I, hey, I'll just hit you later on. I right, bet. Okay. Like that, you wanna be like so that? So you really don't want to talk to me? Yup. Oh no, I ain't gonna ask. I'm gonna say bet. Mm-hmm. Keep moving. Because we, we have that mutual understanding. Now, you mad. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Right. I'll talk on. to you later. Have a good day. Enjoy your day. Have, have a good night. And then be like, oh, o'clock and afternoon. hell yeah. I said, good night. <laughs> I said, that shit before at 5 o'clock. Good <laughs> night. What the fuck? <laughs> Man, ask you why you tripping. Good night, I say. Good yeah, night. You just got to let that shit go. Oh, man. Is there anything else we missed? No, I didn't go into the Wu-Sa. No. Okay. We can jump right into the end in here. There's no wu side segment. Uh, well, you said you had something for the Wu-Sa. We're just talking about Paperboy thing. Oh, okay. So, like, Paperboy. Um, Paperboy. Keep going. I, I, I wish I had this nigga uh, real hey. name so I could, uh, <laughs> so I could figure out what he's doing. I don't know about that Paperboy. Yeah, but the dude that plays Paperboy on Atlanta, he, um, he had an interview. What was the interview for? I don't uh, know. it was like, because he got nominated for an Emmy. Yeah, and it was, and, and it was for, like, the thing he did for his mom. Like, he yeah. dedicated it to his mom or whatever. And his mom had died in like a car accident, you know, right before everything came out, before the Emmy nomination and everything. And so, I guess, I, I don't really remember everything that happened. I remember they were asking him about how he felt or something like that. Well, like they said, how, the, how are you, um, to the effect, whatever, like how are you feeling about all the success that you're getting now? Oh, yeah. And all the accolades and stuff. And he basically said, like, how his mom, uh, <coughs> before, before he even discussed about his mom being in an accident, he was like, he had a best friend that died from cancer recently. Mm-hmm. Then he had another best friend that died from lupus. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then his mom got killed in a car accident. He was like, she wasn't even sick or anything. She just got abruptly taken away. Yeah. And stuff like that. So he this was all like, happened in like the same. Yeah, year? like recently, like within like six months yeah. or something like that. Yeah. So he was like, he can't find any joy in the, in the accolades that he's been like, getting, whatever, because he was like. He wants his mother to be here. He wish she was here to celebrate these things with him. Right, and because he had said like part of the thing he had dedicated to his mom and everything, he was getting the Emmys for, and he's like, and he can't even celebrate that. Like he, everybody keeps asking him, you know, how he feels and what he's gonna do to celebrate, and he just feels like he can't celebrate because yeah. his mom died. Yeah, because because he's like he can't even look at her picture. He hasn't, yeah, he hasn't he has, looked at her picture he, yet. Since the day she died, he hasn't looked at anything from her because it makes the way he makes it feel. So. Yeah, so he, he just kind of, I mean, and, and I guess it kind of brings us to the idea that, you know, it's hard, like, it, it's funny how, how people try to gauge your happiness, yeah. or how happy you should be in a moment, Oh, uh, and there, there's so much so much going on with that. His name is Brian Tyree Henry. There you go. I'm gonna ask you what I'm looking up. It took me a while, y'all. Sorry. Yeah, I know. I was like, you were concentrating real hard. Well, I think you had to find it. It's like you found it on Instagram. I did. Well, we can find it on Google or Twitter. Excuse me. I know how it works. It's way better. I'm just like, why didn't you just Google? Excuse me. Excuse me. Well, go ahead, Ashley. Read it for her. Read what you found. I just said, congratulations. Right? Sorry. Oh, my God. Okay, that's the name. Outstanding yeah. supporting actor in a comedy series. It must be for Atlanta. For Atlanta. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Paperboy. I yeah, liked so. him. No, he he's really good. He's a really good actor. Like outside of playing Paperboy. Yeah, I think you told me he has another movie. Y'all told me he has a movie on Netflix. Mm, yeah. No, but there's a movie he's in on Netflix. Yeah, there's, a movie, called, there's like a chick flick movie. I forgot what it's called. He, he's on the. He did tell, yeah. he's, 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 he's in the what's that movie come out this week too? Right. Oh, that Widows. Yeah, the Widows. Is he on Widows for yeah. him? Mm-hmm. He's in Widows too. Um, Is he a bad guy? Yeah. Aww. So. Yeah, because like the women why are good. Like, why yeah. do I like him? Him and the Get Out dude. Like, yeah, I actually Daniel like Kalua. Him. Who? Brian Tyree. I actually Tari? like him. Yeah, he no, he's really good. Like I said, he's a really good actor. Like I like him. Like hey, Colin. Oh, you like him? Like him. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. no, like back to the topic. But uh, so just to say, like, okay, because there's so many, so so much depth to what happened with him. To where, like, for one thing, I, like I said, I think people try to really gauge how happy you should be because they're like, well, you know, if it was me, I mean, I would be sad. But I mean, you got Emmy, so you lost like, so many people, right? So like, other people are always gonna be like from the outside looking in and be like. Well, you should be happy. Like, why are you not happy? I don't even know how he's coping with all this, to be honest. I don't either. 
Like, I lost my dad abruptly, but it wasn't a car accident. At least, no. like, it was a heart attack. So, I, I mean, it's understandable. Man. A car accident. Yeah, you like, know, somebody got, got health problem issues already right. and stuff like, versus. Like so a freak accident, but you know. but even but even still a freak accident. Like now you have people that you blaming somebody for her death, and now you like you. It's a lot to deal with emotionally dealing with like a car accident and, and death like that. And so like you dealing with that, people are telling you, hey, why aren't you happy? You just you getting an Emmy, and then like and on top of all of that, like you can't you people can't even enjoy. Share it. With. Yeah, like you can't people even enjoy. Mind. So I mean, I guess what we can get since we have, with Wusa, we try to bring in something you know positive about it. I guess what, what the thing is, you, you have to deal with grieving and deal with things in your life the best way that you know how. You, nobody else can tell you how you should be handling it. And I feel like that's what he kind of was getting at, was that everybody keeps telling him how he should feel. You should be so happy. Yeah, like, you should be happy. You should be getting over it. I mean, nobody's telling him to get over it, but it, like they're like, you know, it's good. You know, this is a good thing. Your mom would love this. And I'm like... I, I but understand he was, that, but I'd prefer her to be, be here. here. Yeah. 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 So, like, you can't really tell. And it's, this is for both people. So, this is for the person going through something. If you're going through something, can't nobody tell you how you're supposed to handle it. Right. And the other thing is, if you know somebody going through something, I, and I hate that people do this, but I hate when people tell people how they should feel. Like, I mean, you're going to be better. I mean, you're going to be all right. It, it'll be fine. You'll be fine. It, it, you, you, you're all right. You're going to bounce back. Like, you can't really just tell people how to be. You know what I'm saying? I understand and the sentiment. I know it's common. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what everybody does. Especially if you have somebody die in your family, they'd be like, Oh, you know that you know they want you to keep living, so you need to go ahead and live. And I'm like, I mean, yes, that's true, but you don't know where that person is right now as far as, you know, their grieving process. So they they may come to that on their own. They don't really need you to tell them how they should be feeling right now. Yeah. So for the people that are going through something, just go through your process. Get through it the best way you know how. Find you some coping mechanisms, whatever it takes. Uh, talk to a therapist, definitely. But then for the people that are that know somebody, that have a friend or a family member that's going through something, make sure that you're not imparting your feelings onto them and telling them how they should be feeling or how they just, should be reacting. Mm-hmm. Just be their them. support and listen. Right, yeah. That's all they need, probably somebody listening and just be there. Yeah, somebody just want to vent. That's I'll be there. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> 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 over your shoulder, honey. Right. <laughs> um, all right, but yeah, so I guess that's it for the Wusa segment. Uh, anybody got anything else before we close it out here today? No. no. Um, what you got? Shout out to Chris. He had a, he opened a hookah spot. I seen that. It's open on this side, though. Who could blame you? Yeah. I yeah, that's that. what it is. Yeah. It's off of uh, Tidwell. Tidwell on the east side of okay? Before you get to Mesa, yeah. Huh? yeah oh, so 51 or 59? Bellway. Bellway. Okay, okay. Probably about that pizza and Popeyes and all that. Is that CBS over there? No. There's a Shell Station right there. Must be a, uh, no, Valero in that, in that, that uh, shopping center. By that hotel? No, it's by a barbershop or something. Is that, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gas station right here. It's like a strip center. Right you know, by your, your, your house, yeah. yeah okay. They're gonna put your house out yeah, there. I appreciate you, like, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I appreciate you, like, yeah. Yeah, I know, but still, I appreciate you. Anyway, New Mexico. See, 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 old nigga riding around in the Corvette, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some niggas with some cars out there. I was like, don't bother me. Okay, yeah. bye. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, shout out to them. I see y'all posting that. Yeah, yeah part of like, Jim, Jim over girls, whatever. His Instagram stuff. Yeah, yeah. Jim, Jim over girls. Jim underscore over underscore girls. Yeah, that's yeah. a nice little spot. Yeah, it looked like it. I saw y'all smoking hookah and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, like oh, it's pretty nice, pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. I see, I see some ratchet shit going on over there. Huh? Like that's that's a little ratchet little spot. Right it's there. a ratchet spot. Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah, they, I can see that being some some hood some shit. Hood shit. Oh, I mean, but, but I'm saying no. I'm saying like he can. That's, that's a nice spot for him. That's what I'm gonna say. But that's okay. actually a nice little yeah. spot. Yeah. It remind me of Bar Eighty. Bar Eighty. Yeah. I'm going to tomorrow. What's Bar Eighty? Tomorrow going? Oh, what, what, what's up? What's up? Not my home for birthday. We going to Bar Eighty tomorrow. I'm Bar Eighty. It's gonna be freezing. Oh, uh, he needs to go. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. Head off the bill one. It's, it's, a, like, it's a double. It's a double. Uh, some <laughs> Don't look like that. Yeah, I live in Cyprus. Yeah, that's 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 far. Hey, come out the baby. Come out to get off. <laughs> after the meeting, because uh, I'm off for happy hour. Yeah. 
Oh, it's for happy hour. I gotta work oh, out. Oh, what time is that? Hold on. Uh, yeah. Before nine. Uh, happy hour ends. Oh, uh, ends at nine? Yeah. I might can make that. I gotta, uh, well, you know, I have football flights and shit, but other than that. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I gotta go work out and go take a shower. Yeah, so. Oh, okay. Right. Well, well, I'll see if I can catch up with y'all. Okay. But, uh, okay. anything else? Um, oh, real quick, like, like I said, brunches. We've been attending brunches since they pretty much started it. They and so they have another one on Sunday, November 18th. Oh, um, I'm going to have to look and see where it's at. Hold on, give me a second. Dang, Y'all talking about some like, shit. You know, the last time I was out, this dude told me, no, no, I don't want to break it up. Yeah, don't want to break it up. I don't want to break it up. Is it an excuse for black? This is another damn thing. I'm tired of black men making excuses. Talking about, oh, I was just drunk. That's why I told you that. Excuse. Okay, anyway, <laughs> Ashley. Okay. <laughs> All right, <laughs> So brunches is going to be November 18th from 1 to 6 at Revolver Houston at 6502 Washington I heard, Avenue. At Washington I heard about Avenue. Revolver. Okay. I've seen, I've seen, like when I saw the pictures of it, when they posted pictures of where it was going to be, I was like, I, I think I've seen that before. What's your call? I was doing his hookahs over there too. Hmm. Dang. So yeah. So I mean, there's going to be DJs, mimosas, all that good stuff. I think it's going to be. Is it going to be? Never mind. Is it going to be what? Go ahead and say what you got to say, girl. Mm-mm. Okay, well, anyway, it's going to be a good look. <laughs> it usually is. It's yeah. usually a good look, and I, I like to promote people's stuff, especially when I know them, because, like, BJ, food? G-Rose, all of all that. They had that brisket taco. Yeah, them brisket tacos were good. They changed, They had a different caterer this last time. I didn't go to this last one. I think I, I did, but I came mm-hmm. late. Yeah, I came late. The food's gone. Yeah. Oh, and so they, I think they had right? another caterer this time. That was Labor Day. That was a long time ago. Was it? Maybe they had one after that. It might have been one in October. I think they've been doing it on one somewhere. Okay, I missed it. Yeah, so this is their November one, November 18th at Revolver Houston. So if y'all get a chance, swing by there. I'll probably be out there. Yeah. I, mean, I don't want to drink, out. man. I don't want to drink. Well, don't drink. Maybe you go. The alcohol be like, hey, girl. <laughs> you know, I'm going to party eight tomorrow. It's, it's me again. I can't drink no more. Um, yeah, bring your ass home. Anyway, you can come out anyway. Come kick it. Yeah. Big kick it. Yeah, I think that's about it. And I know um, starting December, we're going to have a lot of collabs going on. So. Oh, yeah. So be on the lookout for, like, uh, we're going to be getting on other people's podcasts, putting people on our pack, podcast, all that good shit. Awesome. Yeah, so. All right. Anybody anything else before I close it out now? No. No. I don't good. let these excuses, ladies, get you. Yeah. Trust people yeah, so that you don't have to worry trust about Trust them if you want to. Yeah. You're going to be with your therapist. No, only no. accept excuses from people that you trust. No, how much trust you give somebody. I'm about right, to curse exactly. somebody right now. That's tough. Mm-hmm. Really? Anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, as always, we hope you have laughed a little, learned a lot, and we hope we have helped you find the trouble to what's, whatever is ailing you. I want to Ellen. 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 Hey, the te- my Texas. We hope you found a remedy to whatever is ailing you. Ellen, you. In Texas. Ellen. Ellen. Oh, he said, Ellen. oh, he's trouble, troubling you. Troubling you. That's troubling you. Yeah. But it's like you say, but when we have like periods off, yeah. Yeah, you, 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 you don't get like to tag at the beginning of time. Oh, whatever. yeah. Whatever, whatever. Hey, it's all good. Whatever, hey, man. It's what's from your podcast. Yes, sir. Girl.